All right, so uh, we're going to discuss about the rules of fraction. First, uh, we're going to have the addition and subtraction. So there are actually two situations when you're going to add or subtract. First, when we have the same denominator. Okay, so how does it work? So uh, before that, we have to know the terms uh, when we're doing fraction. So for example, we have a fraction of say 3 over 4. Now a fraction is actually have two parts, the one on the top and the one below. So this part on the top, we call it numerator. Below is called denominator all right so let us have here same denominators so if we deal with uh, addition or subtraction with the same denominators for example we have uh, 3 over 4 plus 2 over 4 now, as you observe, the denominators for here are 4. So, meaning they're having the same denominator. So, all you have to do is just copy it. The denominator is 4. However, the 1 which are on the top, right, the, the 3 and the 2, you just add it. So, we basically have 3 plus 2. So, now you add 3 and 2 so that is 5 over 4 so which is 5 over 4 is equal to 1 and 1 over 4 all right so uh, we have a pattern that we're going to follow when we're going to have this uh, addition or subtraction of fractions so basically if you have the pattern which is uh, you can see a over b plus uh, c over b so when you're gonna deal with it we know that the the number below which is the denominator are the same so just copy it all right b and then add the one which are the numerators all right so in the same manner if you're gonna have subtraction the same thing will happen so if you have here a over b minus c over b so again just look at the denominator which is b in this case so just copy it and then perform the operation which is this case is subtraction so let us have an example so we have uh, 3 over 4 minus 2 over 4 so in this case again just copy the denominator which is 4 and then 3 minus 2 is 1 so the final answer would be 1 over 4 now the next thing is what if the denominator are different so let us have this when they have different denominators for example when we add it uh, say we have 3 over 5 plus 2 over 3 so all we have to do is we need to find the common denominator which is the least common denominator so we think of a number that can be divided by both 5 and 3 so the least number that can be divided by 5 and 3 is 15 all right so we are going to th think 15 divided by 5 is basically that is 3 it's Alright, so we have to think that 
Now, this is the number, the least number, which can be divided by both 3 and 5. So if you think of this, what number we multiply by 5 to become 15? So in this case, you multiply 5 by 3 is 15. So therefore, you also have this one by 3. So basically, 3 times 3 is 9. Right? Now the same thing. Now the same thing here. So we have 3 goes to 15. What number are you going to multiply to it? So you multiply by 5. So you also, okay, to go there by 5. Okay, the same as here, because 3 times 5 is 15, so 2 times 5 is, should be 10. Now, we have now one denominator, so just copy it, which is 15, and 9 plus 10 is 19, or you can actually make it into a mixed number, which is 1 and 4 over 15. All right? So, basically, if you have, uh, when you're going to add, the pattern is basically is this. So, if you have A over B, and then it's added with C over D, so all you have to do is you can find the common number that can be divided by B and D, and that might be, basically, is B times D. All right, so plus something times b, I mean something over b times d as well. So if you observe b becomes b d, so we multiply by d. So you have to think that a should also be multiplied by d. Right, and then in the same manner, the c, this d be, becomes b times d. So we multiply it by by b so we have here b times c or c times b they're the same all right so basically this is the same as bd in the top ad plus all right so i'm i'm writing this uh, c times b just to emphasize that we have multiplied this by b but uh in algebra, you have to arrange it alphabetically, so we have B, C, okay? So that's actually the answer. Now in the same manner, when you're going to have uh, subtraction, so you have, okay, when you subtract, this is add. If you have A over B minus C over D, so again, you must find the common denominator, the LCD, the least common denominator, which is in this case is B times D. So A must be, okay, times by D and minus C times B or B, C. All right. Now there's a, an example for it with a number. Now, for example, you have here 2 over 3, 2 over 3 minus 3 over 5. So, as you observe, we cannot just copy the denominator because they're different. So, all we have to do is we look for the common denominator, the least common denominator. So, think of a number that can be divided by both 3 and 5. So, in this case, is... 15. So 15, <clears throat> basically the 3 goes to 15 by multiplying it with 5. So meaning you also multiply this 2 by 5. So in this case, you must have 2 times 5 is 10. Then the operation is minus. <clears throat> so you have Okay, minus, and then you, as you observe, the 5 becomes 15 by multiplying by 3. So you also have to multiply this top by 3, which is 3 times 3 is 
actually 9 so all we have to do is just subtract 10 minus 9 is 1 over 15 and that's the answer All right, now we're going to proceed to the second operation, or basically this is the, the third, but uh, the, the, the different one compared to addition and subtraction is multiplication. So in multiplication, it's a little bit different, but this is the easiest one, all right? Because we do not have to look whether you have the same or different. I'll give you an example. So uh, for example, you have uh, 4 over 7 times 2 over 6 all we have to do is just multiply all the numerator so 4 times 2 is equal to 8 and then 7 times 6 is equal to 42 and then simplify so uh, basically we Eight, uh, we can divide 8 and 42, both of them by 2. So we can have 8 divided by 2 is uh, 4. <clears throat> and then 42 divided by 2 is 21. And that is how we multiply. So basically the pattern is if you have A over B, times c over d you must have the result of a times c over b times d all right and the next one is division so divide when we divide uh, division always remember that it's the opposite of multiplication so basically if for example we have a pattern of a over b divided by c over d so all we have to do is we're gonna rewrite the first part which is the one divided so a over b then you change the second by the opposite of it this is divide so make it times but you have to write this one in an in a reverse way so this is d over c okay so now let's try to work it out now we have now the new expression which is just the multiplication as we remember that when we multiply all we have to do is just multiply all the numerator the numerators which is a times d and also the denominators which is b times c Now let's take an example. If you have 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 7, how can we answer it? Okay, so again, just write okay, the first expression, the first fraction, which is 2 over 3. So this is 2 over 3 times the reversed of this 4 over 7 which is 7 over 4 and then do the multiplication so we have 2 times 7 is 14 and then 3 times 4 is 12 and then we know that these are both even numbers we basically can reduce it into by dividing 14 and 12 by 2 so we have 7 okay 14 divided by 2 is 7 and 12 divided by 2 is 6 and we can even change it into a mixed number if needed so if we change this into a mixed number we could have 1 and 1 over 6 that's it the next one is practice part now let us have here again number 1 2 over 7 plus 4 over 3 this is addition so when we answer again addition 
we need to there are two situations either they have the same denominator or different denominator in this case they have different so we need to find the LCD the least common denominator so a number where it can be divided by 7 and 3 in this case is 21 so 7 becomes 21 by multiplying it by 3 so meaning you multiply also this numerator which is 2 by 3 so the 2 times 3 is 6 copy the addition and then we have here 3 to 21 is by multiplying it by 7 3 times 7 is 21 so we multiply also this 4 by 7 which is 28 okay then perform the addition 6 plus 28 is 34 add over 21 so 34 over 21 basically we can uh, this is uh, already in a simple form however we could make it into a mixed number which is 1 there is 1 21 and 34 then subtract 21 from 34 so you must have a remaining of 13 over 21 so 1 and 13 over 21 number two multiplication so we have here 3 over 4 times 5 over 6 so to answer that just multiply directly because it's times the rule is directly multiply so 3 times 5 is 15 over 4 times 6 is 24 now can we reduce this yeah because 15 and 24 can be divided by 3 so we can make it into 15 divided by 3 is 5 and 24 divided by 3 is 8 All right so 5 over 8 number 3 7 over 12 divided by 2 over 3 divide the rule is we write the first fraction 7 over 12 then change the operation which is divide two times but then we have to write the second in reverse form so we have instead of 2 over 3 we in reverse form we write this into 3 over 2 then multiply 7 times 3 is 21 12 times 2 is 24 in this case we could basically reduce it by dividing both numerator and denominator by 3 so 21 divided by 3 is uh, 7 and 24 divided by 3 is 8 so that's the answer number 4 7 over 12 minus 3 over 8 so again we have different denominators so all we have to do is we look for a common denominator in this case uh, the least common denominator should be 24 so 24 divided by 12 so basically we multiply 12 by 2 so you multiply also 7 by 2 so this is 14 so times 2 14 then minus so just copy the sign now let us have here the 8 becomes 24 by multiplying it by 3 so you should also multiply 3 by 3 which is 9 then do the subtraction so we have 14 minus 9 is 5 over 24 which is the final answer thank you